the deep ocean is about to become even more dangerous. In a global scenario where tensions between nuclear powers grow each year, the United States is quietly advancing with the next generation of submarines, a strategic weapon designed not only to maintain naval supremacy, but to ensure that, if necessary, they can destroy their enemies before they even have a chance to react. While many look to the skies, to hypersonic fighters or new orbital weapons, the real military revolution is happening in the depths of the ocean, and it is led by vessels so discreet that their mere confirmed existence is already a sign that the balance of power has shifted. China, with its relentless military rise, is increasingly pressuring American frontiers, not only in the Pacific, but also deep underwater. For the first time in its history, Beijing is maintaining continuous operation of submarines armed with nuclear ballistic missiles. This means that even if their land bases are destroyed, China could still launch a devastating nuclear strike directly from its coastal waters or from hidden positions in the open sea. The new JL-3 missile, with a range of over 6,200 miles and multiple nuclear warheads, gives China the unprecedented ability to strike the U.S. mainland without even needing to get close. With this, the strategic balance that was once almost exclusively ensured by the Americans begins to unravel. In the face of this new threat, the United States is not merely reacting, it is reinventing the concept of silent nuclear deterrence. They are building a fleet of submarines that promises to take underwater warfare to a level never before seen in military history. These new submarines, equipped with revolutionary propulsion technology and state-of-the-art weapon systems, are designed to be invisible to the enemy's eyes and ears. Their mission is clear. Survive a first strike, destroy the enemy in return, and ensure that the balance of deterrence never tips the wrong way. But beyond the technology and futuristic designs, there is something few take the time to consider. The human drama experienced by the crews of these submerged giants. Aboard a nuclear deterrent submarine, life is a constant combination of vigilance, pressure, and absolute silence. Weeks, sometimes months, without seeing sunlight, without direct communication with the surface, operating machines of destruction capable of changing humanity's destiny at the press of a button. Each crew member carries an immense responsibility, not only to keep the submarine operational, but to ensure that, if ordered, a nuclear retaliation happens without hesitation. It's a job that demands nerves of steel, blind loyalty, and a mental fortitude that goes far beyond physical training. One misinterpreted signal, one ignored alarm, one moment of hesitation, and the consequences could be irreversible. One of the secrets of this new generation lies in its propulsion. Instead of traditional propellers, these submarines are expected to use magnetohydrodynamic propulsion systems, a concept that until recently seemed pulled from science fiction. No moving parts, no cavitation, virtually no noise. The principle is ingenious. An ultra-intense magnetic field and an electric current manipulate seawater to generate thrust eliminating the need for noisy engines or visible rotors. A submarine powered by this system not only moves in absolute silence, but becomes practically undetectable to even the world's most advanced sonars. The challenge, however, is enormous. Seawater is not naturally a good conductor, and generating extremely high-intensity magnetic fields requires brutal amounts of energy. Still, projects like DARPA's Bombeo show that reality might be close to catching up with fiction. The goal is clear, to build engines capable of operating at 20 Tesla magnetic field density and eliminate all propulsion vulnerabilities that currently expose submarines on patrol. If successful, these systems will turn the oceans into battlefields, where only those technologically ahead will have a chance to survive. But this silent race for underwater dominance carries invisible and increasingly dangerous consequences. The proliferation of invisible nuclear submarines creates an environment where communication is difficult, threat identification is uncertain, and the risk of miscalculation is extremely high. Imagine a submarine detecting another without knowing whether it's friend or foe. Imagine an unintended approach in the middle of the Atlantic or Pacific, where life or death decisions must be made in minutes, sometimes seconds. In such a world, the margin for error shrinks dramatically and a single underwater incident could quickly escalate into a real nuclear exchange. It's a silent Cold War, where the danger is permanent and almost invisible, and the urgency is palpable. 
It's not just China expanding its fleet of silent nuclear submarines. Russia, even under pressure from sanctions and military strain, maintains one of the largest and most dangerous submarine forces on the planet. For the United States, leaving any gap in this race would be unacceptable. This is the context in which the new class of American nuclear submarines arises, the Columbia class. Designed to replace the veteran Ohio class, these oceanic giants represent the pinnacle of submarine engineering. Each Columbia class submarine will cost around $9 billion, with a length of over 560 feet and a displacement exceeding 44 million pounds they will be the largest and most discreet ballistic submarines in U.S. Navy history. But size, in this case, is not just a matter of brute strength. It's also a strategy to increase autonomy, stealth, and survivability. Armed with 16 Trident D-5 ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying multiple independent nuclear warheads, these submarines will ensure that even in the worst imaginable scenario, the United States can retaliate with enough force to deter any aggressor from considering a first strike. Even more impressive is the level of onboard automation. With a reduced crew compared to previous generations, about 155 people, and highly advanced monitoring and control systems, the Columbia class will be able to remain submerged for months, operating in complete silence. Their sonar systems, derived from the already lethal Virginia class, have been further enhanced to detect threats at incredible distances and track nearly imperceptible underwater movements. And the new generation of sensors will allow early identification of enemy vessels, boosting survivability in conflict scenarios. But the Columbia class is not alone. In parallel, the United States is developing a new line of attack submarines, provisionally known as the SSNX, which will replace the Virginia class in the coming years. These submarines, smaller but extremely fast and heavily armed, will be the eyes and fists of the fleet, ready to hunt down and destroy any threat that dares cross their path. The race, therefore, is not just about maintaining what was achieved during the Cold War. It's about anticipating the future, a future where China and Russia test the limits daily, a future where war may be waged not in the air or on land, but in the absolute silence of the deep ocean. And the truth is, in the deep sea, there's no room for mistakes. A single lost submarine could mean the collapse of the entire nuclear deterrence chain. It could mean vulnerability. It could mean war. That's why the investments are astronomical. That's why DARPA bets on technology that seems to defy the laws of physics. That's why every cubic foot of steel, every line of code, and every magnetic coil matters. Submarine supremacy is not just a tactical advantage. It is an existential necessity. If the United States wants to ensure that deterrence continues to work and that future wars are won before they even begin, it must be invisible, silent, and absolutely lethal. That's what the new generation of American submarines is betting on. And that's the game now being played in the dark depths, separating peace from destruction. The era of the silent giants has begun. And deep in the oceans, where sound dies and radar fails, the battle for the future of humanity is already underway.